Hey everyone, it's Dexani. Before you jump to conclusions, this is not a tutorial video. However, I do want to talk about the possibilities of creating tutorial videos for you guys. I have been asked and people have suggested that I should do digital art tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Yet, I was a bit skeptical and I still am, but not as much. I just want to toss some thoughts and ideas to all of you who watch my channel and just to see what you guys think. If I do create tutorials, they are not going to be the type of tutorials where I tell you how you should draw something. Nah. Uh, these tutorials would simply be me showing you how I draw the way that I draw or color the way that I color. It will basically be a tutorial on how me, myself, and I do things when it comes to digital art. I just feel like I'm not at a level for me to fully instruct you on, I guess, like, I don't know, the perfect way to do something or not, I don't even want to say perfect, just like basically what you should do or you should do it this way, you should do it that way. And you can totally follow along and just do the techniques that I do. Um, and decide if they work out for you. If not, you know, that's still good. You know, at least you're just trying something and different technique. It's all about just trying different things to see what works best for you. Also, I want these tutorials to be helpful not only for you, but also for me. And what I mean by that is, you know, for you all to help a sister out. <laughs> so for, for example, I could show you how I color hair or do the nose or something. And if you feel like there's a different technique I should try that will help me improve, suggest it in the comments. I want all of us to communicate and learn from each other. I, I'm always willing to learn from you guys and trying different things to improve my art. So I want these tutorials to be able to benefit all of us. Maybe the techniques I use are different for you and you want to try it out. Cool. And if you know any art YouTubers or Instagrammers that have tutorials or something that you feel like that I can improve on, suggest them to me. And I'll be happy to do the same for you guys and I'll post, you know, any type of like suggestions like any other artists and stuff in my description box in the videos, um, you know, if I mention them or something. Um, so yeah, you know, I think, I think this could really work. I think it can be successful for all of us. I just need to figure out how to screen record with the program that I have in real time and, and do voiceover. Uh, so please don't expect anything right after this video. If you all would love for me to create these type of videos, leave in the comments below on what you would like to see me create. Like, would you want to see how I color hair, color eyes, draw eyes, the nose, face, etc. And no, no, don't say hands or anatomy because that's not even going to be an option for you guys. I suck. I suck at that. Yeah, that's a no-go. But yeah, I've been thinking about this for a while. I'll put up a poll on my Instagram story and have people vote there as well. Um, if I should do tutorials or not, being that I have more active people on my Instagram at the moment and, you know, we'll go from there. The thinking about it now, just to test the waters, maybe I can start with a little tutorial on how I draw and or or color eyes. I feel like that would be the quickest and the easiest thing to share at the moment and, you know, just to kind of test the whole tutorial thing out. I guess, you know, um, but please feel free to state your opinions below on if this should be a good to go or a no go. <laughs> but yeah, I would greatly appreciate your guys' feedback on this whole idea. So let me know. Um, and just a quick info about this drawing before I end this video. I created this for St. Patrick's Day. I think the child in me thought about St. Patrick's Day and being that I don't go to school anymore, it made me think back how we all wore green and if someone wasn't wearing green, they'd get pinched. <laughs> so I don't know, I guess I was just kind of in that mood and had that little flashback and I wanted to create um, something involving a four-leaf clover. Um, that's the little backstory basically for this drawing. I really enjoyed coloring the hair for this character and the colors that I chose for this 
I enjoyed it so much. I had to look for like some kind of like pastel. I was really feeling the pastel um, light tones for this piece. So I was like looking for color palettes on Pinterest and stuff. So yeah, that's how we got here. <laughs> Anyways, I shall catch you all in the next video or on the gram. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll chat with you soon. Bye.